I know learning coding isn't easy, but it's only hard if you don't have the right knowledge and mindset. In this video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step approach of how I would learn coding if I could start over. I will talk about how to learn fundamentals, how to build projects, and the important mindsets that you need for your coding journey. Also, I will mention some of the mistakes that you should avoid to make that journey easier. Without further ado, let's dive in. Let's talk about fundamentals. The first thing you need to do is pick a programming language. I highly suggest you choose Python. I believe Python is the best language to learn if you just start programming. The syntax is very beginner friendly and there's a very detailed documentation that you can refer to when you are stuck. The next step is learning the foundations of programming. These things include variables, data types, functions, if statements, loops, and object-oriented programming. To learn these concepts, I highly suggest you use Codecademy. This website is very interactive, and you can basically execute your code on the platform because it has a built-in IDE. So if you don't know what an IDE is, it stands for Integrated Development Environment. So this is basi basically where your code is executed. Using Codecademy remove all the hassle that you need when installing tools and environments so that you can fully focus on learning coding at this stage. I don't really recommend you read books when you first learn to code because I believe coding is more about implementation than theory. I will talk more about this mindset later on. If you dedicate about 2 hours to 3 hours per day, they like really dedicate yourself to learn these concepts, I believe you're gonna master fundamental programming in about 3 to 4 weeks. The next step is learning how to build projects. I believe the best way to get good at coding is building projects. All the knowledge that you know and you learn will never stick in your head until you use it. There are 3 things that you need to keep in mind when you start your first project. The first thing is start small. If you choose to work on something too challenging at the beginning, it's very easy to get demotivated because the problem was too hard. Most of the time, you're gonna give up. It's much better to start even a tiny project and complete the project than start a large one and never finish it. I make the same mistake in the past too. When I first learned to code, I always wanted to build a big thing. I remember I tried to build a website like Litco when I first started programming. So I wanted to build something fancy and cool and I thought everybody was gonna love it. But guess what? After two weeks, I gave up because it was too hard. The second thing is building something that you will genuinely care about. So this is the best way to keep yourself motivated throughout the projects because you are building something meaningful for yourself. So for example, let's say you love to read, so you can build an, uh, like a program that can generate a favorite book for you to read every single month. And finally, you need to learn how to use resources efficiently. I remember during my first programming class in college, my professor always said, Google and Stack Overflow are your friends. So when you run into issues, you can always Google your error and find a solution in Stack Overflow. The easiest way to get started with projects is YouTube. There are a lot of YouTube tutorials out there. But if you want me to cover some basic tutorials on how to build beginner projects, leave a comment down below. Learning coding is hard. It takes a lot of time and effort to become a good programmer. Things don't need to be that bad if you have the right mindset. These are the 4 mindsets that will help your learning progress skyrocket. Number 1 prioritize implementation over theory. I believe the best way to learn anything, not just coding, is by doing. You can read tons of books, you can watch a thousand, ten thousand hours of YouTube videos, but if you never use your knowledge, you will never learn. The knowledge will never stick in your head. So the next time you follow a tutorial, don't just watch for the sake of watching, Try to follow and implement along with the video. Number two, be curious. Always be curious about everything that you learn. A mistake that I saw many beginners make is that they just copy the code but they don't understand how it works. 
play around with what you learned, try everything that you could think of. This will help you build a deep understanding of the topic. An example of this is that you use a print statement to print things out. Let's say I want to print my name out, right? My name is Jack. And let's say I want to include not just my name, but also my age. I can try something like, my name is Jack, I'm plus 23 plus years old. If I execute a statement, then I will receive an error. That's when I learned I need to convert the integer into a string to make these things work. Number three, it's okay for your code to fail. As a programmer, you will never write a perfect piece of code. So it's very important to develop your debugging skills. A mistake that I saw a lot of beginners make is that they start to panic when the program fails and they give up. But think about this, your job as a programmer or a software engineer is fixing problems. From my personal experience, most of my time spent on coding is fixing bugs. One of my CS professors often told me that failure is powerful. You will never learn how something works until you break it. So train your mind to stay calm when your code breaks. Use Google and Stack Overflow to your advantage to fix the issue. Your struggle will help you learn and improve. Number four, coding is a lifelong journey. Coding is a long-term journey that will never end. It doesn't matter how smart you are, you will never know everything. Try your best, absorb as much as you can. Even experienced programmers, they learn every single day. The more knowledge you have, the more valuable you will become as a programmer. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. That support the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.